Nostradamus was a man who was raised secretly as a Jew. But in the dreadful era of Jewish persecution, many Jews became Christian. He had been trained by his grandfather in the art of astronomy, which modern thinkers see as astrology. The heavens are part of creation, therefore, when we read the names of planets, they tell a story. In ancient times, the Maseroth was the name of the constellations. The word is found only in Job and has a Hebrew concordance number of 4216. 4216 is the width of Mars in miles. You will see where I'm going shortly, but keep in mind I am Christ and have yet to reach my personal fullness. Like a child is taught from birth by lunatics, the child will also follow their Christian parents or worse, Muslim. But Nostradamus had the stupidity of being forced to be a Christian under pain of burning at the stake, but secretly retained his roots that gave him an insight to the Kabbalah, astrology, astronomy and the Gospels, and could see that like Kaduri, knew Jesus was the Messiah, the enemies were Christians. As the book of Job is the oldest book of the Bible and is written originally in Aramaic, the language I spoke as Jesus, understanding part of the equation does not make sense unless one lives in the end time. And like I dedicated to beating these satanic bastards, the only way out is my truth which was recognised by Pope Benedict XVI. His recognition, March the 11th, 2013, and the subsequent events of the beast arresting him and murdering his witnesses, Father Giuseppe Ciavello and Monsignor Giovanni, end-time witnesses to what? The apostolic rhetor the apostolic letter written by the Pope, translated by Father Giuseppe and uploaded Mon by Monsignor Rossini in Canada since Italy's World Wide Web had stopped Father Giuseppe from uploading it in Rome. Both men had to die. But the Pope is immortal and will once again be Pope under Christ. Now Job 38.32 Canst thou bring forth Maseroth in his season, or canst thou guide Arcturus with his sons? That's from the Maseroth, Hebrew Dictionary 4216, from 5144 in the sense of distinction, some noted constellation only in the plural, perhaps collectively, the zodiac, Maseroth, compare 4208. Nostradamus does mention a comet, however not Isom, it was Mars. But why? Mars has become a comet. By definition it has an orbit but also now glows with a coma tail. Indeed Isom caused it, but what is more remarkable is not Isom, it is the impossible that Mars was turned into a comet. We were in Giza, Egypt, when on the October the 1st, Iceland discharged its field into the atmosphere of Mars, turning it into a giant neon bulb. I noticed it while photographing the pyramids at night, some distance from our fifth floor balcony. I used a Nikon P520, which has a very low light level, almost possible to take a photo with no light. My astronomy program, Carl Sagan's Easy Cosmos, is not connected to the web. Therefore, it is a standalone program, not like programs updated from the web. This enables me to compare the modern feed to a fixed and accurate positioning of the stars and planets, which I have used since 1991. This means the star I saw was not immediately identifiable. Night after night it passed over the pyramids, glowing a strange green with a red centre. Then it was revealed to be Mars, totally out of position, 
but alerted me it had to be Mars as the web astronomy was all out of position and is the answer. Ison was an orbit that is less likely to be affected by Nibiru, the giant magnetic ball coming up from the south. So what can we make of it? Jupiter and Saturn is relatively in the correct position. That is when we allow for the Earth being shifted off its axis, which we had determined while in the UK. As far as I could estimate without being on a boat off the French coast to triangulate via my GPS, the new axis was off Hearn Bay. In addition, the moon is all over the sky, often upside down. Comparing Rome, then London to Cairo, I was able to nail down the Earth's axis was 26 degrees on its side off the former axis of 23.4 degrees, so around 49 degrees. My disciples, knowing who I am, are aware how the synchronicity of time, degrees, latitudes and longitudes are measurable. By a trap of sorts known as the James Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the 1611 King James Bible. It's in the word count and numbers. As a reminder, there are 8,674 words in the Hebrew section and 3,050 less than that in the Greek for a total of 5624 in the Greek. The first sign is 3050 is the word Yah and is missing from the Greek, meaning Yah, Yahweh or Yah has been removed. Next, 86.74 years is the age Pope Benedict was on January the 11th when Ariel Sharon died on January the 11th, my 70th birth date. In days, it's 31680. This is Gematria for Lord Jesus Christ. Add those three numbers together, 3168. Now, I've said repeatedly the flood happened once and was when the solar system travelling either northward or southward, depending which millennium, at presently 69,000 kilometres per hour. When it passes the horizontal equatorial line of the galaxy to then slow and reverse, then the planets react and Mars' orbit changed to come close to the Earth. Two objects the same distance to the Sun orbits at the same speed, so Mars was drawn magnetically to bump into the North Pole with its South Pole dumping the ocean onto the Earth, all fresh water as life on Mars did not exist, so no salt. Now, as a comet, a remarkable event, even strange enough to be a possible sign in the stars. I did say that in the Gospels, right? So we have the oldest book of the Bible mentioning the zodiac. The number is 4216 in Hebrew and is with of Mars in Mars. Naturally, the masses will say, no, God is not that smart. Creating the solar system with numbers that are embedded in the Bible? Rubbish. We know better, just a coincidence. Well, for the believers, this is how I did it. And yes, born back to the earth as I was when I came via the Virgin Mary. I had to mature into a boy and then a man and be rejected. And then only after death, resurrect. Now, before I go on a mute point, Mars 4216 miles wide, the Maseroth number in Hebrew, that number in Greek concordance numbers is carried away of the flood. And there you see it. Coincidence? Now, the timing of my rebirth must tie into the creation numbers of the earth, as these are the bricks and mortar of the spiritual realm. On the day I was reborn, my half-brother Ronald was 8.88 years old. The sunrise to moonrise was 888 minutes. Then I married 1162.6 weeks old, the antechamber width of the Great Pyramid, which is 116.26 pyramid inches. When I moved to Canada, simply because my wife was such a low-life slut, no matter where I went, her lovers would pop up consistently, forcing my mind in relentless agony, I escaped. I had married Lucifer's choice in 1966 and that number is Lucifer in Hebrew. And as a young man who longed for a wholesome wife and have children in a loving relationship, the angels directed me to marry. So in desperation, 
I ended up in Port Alberni, Canada. My wife would not work, making the statement she was a married lady and married ladies do not work. I replied, you ain't no lady, so you can have a baby. How dumb is that? But that is what happened, and within the hour she was pregnant. No love involved. However, I had no idea, being a young, inexperienced man, how the stars were aligned overhead. It would take me decades of agony being with her, with my love pouring out into my daughter, Tracy Lee. And for the first time, I felt love as a father. On the 27th of July, 1967, my daughter Tracy Lee was conceived. 280 days later, on May the 4th, 1968, she was born in Port Alberni, Canada. When the sunrise to sunset was 888 minutes, I was 8,880 8, days old, which is the gematria for Matthew 1.23. So it was automatic. For back on the 27th of July, 1967, Jupiter was overhead for 888 minutes, and Jupiter is 8,800. Jupiter is 88,800 miles wide, and of course, 888 is Jesus in Greek. Today, I'm fully matured, aware how it works. The miracles pouring in over 70 years. I have Nostradamus predictions of the end of time with. Jupiter, Mercury, Venus, Sun, Earth, and the Moon aligned in the Beehive Nebula, named Prayep-B, that form a V-shape and not the split tail of the comet Ison, as the stars in it form a V-shape. Nostradamus predicted the end of time with... Okay, what Nostradamus had calculated was how the planets should have appeared but did not see the effect of Nibiru that has shifted the inner planet orbits. But due to the approach of Nibiru, the inner planets are out of line. My wife and youngest daughter, both Scorpions, the oldest Taurus, and the second, her deeds so despicable I have not disclosed it even to Ash. M44 is in the centre of the crab, known as the beehive cluster, and forms the Y shape of Cancer. July 27th, 2014, not January 11th, Blue Ribbon is Royalty, Leo. Crab is M44, Beehive, Nebula 44 is Brian, Gematria. The face of Venus, Mercury and Jupiter, V, is the Beehive Nebula, M44. The eighth spokes is time and the eighth month, August, being January through to August. Once in the Bible is the word B from Isaiah 7:18, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall hiss for the fly that is in the uttermost part of the rivers of Egypt, and for the bee that is in the land of Assyria. Hebrew Dictionary 1682, from its systematic instincts and or orderly motion. The verse number 718 from 719 is to woo, to betroth, espouse. The orderly motion is a reference to the stars, the verse number is Greek meaning future or now meaning to woo or espousal. The B is the cluster in the Crab Nebula meaning resurrection and the espousal Christ has come for his bride. Jupiter aligned with the sun 88,800 miles wide, Jesus and 8,880 May the 4th, my daughter 1968, her conception July 27th 1967 47 years ago, the 8,880 gematria for Matthew 123, Emmanuel prophecy, God with us.
the word B from 1696 as in the Word of God, 1696, perhaps properly to arrange but used figuratively of words to speak. What has occurred can only be read by the Carl Sagan software. It cannot be compromised by the internet. Therefore the astronomy software tells me where the planet should be to align with the above drawings in the Crab M44 nebula and is late July. The pre precise position of the stars and planets without the approach gigantic magnetic field of Nibiru demonstrates the world order moves the position without telling us why. I have been using the Carl Sagan software named Easy Cosmos since 1991. This way we know for sure the internet astronomy programs have been altered to show what appears to be normal positions, but the planets are not lined up until July 27th, 2014. If Jupiter was in this position, it would be correct, but it was not. This fooled the observers into using the web-connected software and places Jupiter in position when in fact the Easy Cosmos program tells us where Jupiter was not aligned in December and January. Therefore, as it is a slow-moving huge gas giant, the Easy Cosmos program tells us when it would be lined up which is not until July 27th, 2014. This picture is off the internet showing Jupiter lined up, but the inner planets are all out, caused by Nibiru. The constellation Cancer is slightly behind Leo, represented by a crab. It in ancient times was reincarnation. The crab sheds its shell to be reborn and a new shell. The original Maseroth started with the Virgin, Virgo, and ends with Leo and represented the lion, the king, and later Judah, the tribe, not the Jews. The blue ribbon represented royalty. Therefore, what the Nostradamus drawing is showing us is Leo, the royal ribbon, and Judah, the royal tribe in Leo which is from the 22nd of July. Therefore, as the planets are out being shifted by the incoming magnetic field, we have Jupiter on its side being 5.25 astronomical units from the Sun. Its position is relatively in the right position, but the inner planets are way out. So if we look at what Nostradamus was calculating, he saw the planet positions in the right position, that is, without Nibiru's gigantic magnetic forces at work, as well as another magnetic field approaching from the south. Therefore, to calculate what he was showing us, the dates have to be July 27, 2014. This is 47 years after my daughter was conceived. Now, as Jupiter is... On its side, the moon is also behaving strangely. The following photo was taken by a lady in California, January 21st, 2014. The right side of the moon is showing partially the far side of the moon. Revelation 8 is highlighted in the Nostradamus prophecy with three planets in an eclipse under a time wheel with eight spokes. Below it is two yellow lines enclosing the two. Off to the side is a scorpion with its tails, tail crushed. Scorpio represents Satan. Its tail crushed meaning, means its sting is no more. It's from October 21st to November 20th. November is the constellation Scorpio, preceded by Libra representing judgment. October the 1st, the USA announced it was closing its doors just as Comet Iceland passed Mars, turning it into a glowing orb with a coma tail like a comet. The seventh trumpet in Revelation 8 occurred on December 20th, 2006. Then on the same date in 2007, the sixth trumpet occurred, 
followed all the way down to the first to occur on December 20th each year until the seventh trumpet, December 20th, 2013, Australia time. Revelation 8 speaks of the seals being opened December 20th, 2006, then after seven years' time of the tribulation was completed in Revelation 8, 7. The completion was December 20th, 2013. The first angel sounded and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood and they were cast upon the earth and the third part of trees was burnt up and all green grass was burnt up. You can read it for yourself. The half hour in heaven is seven years of tribulation. Then judgment of the Christ, myself who has been rejected by every religion worldwide with one redeeming factor, Pope Benedict XVI, who recognized his Christ and uploaded his apostolic letter. December is Sagittarius. On that date, it's December 20th, the southern city of Australia is Geelong. The sunrise to sunset was 888 minutes. It was also the date that my stepdaughter was born there in 1979. On that date in 2006, I uploaded my first YouTube from my home with her mother on Nell Street in Greensboro, Victoria. What is significant is this latitude where I made my first upload to YouTube December 20th, 2006. As it is 5,813 kilometers from the South Pole, 5813 is the height of the finished pyramid in pyramid inches. This latitude is significant. It measures 31,680 kilometers around the earth at that latitude. 3168 being Lord Jesus Christ. So Mars has been changed into a glowing plasma ball likened to a comet with a coma tail. This occurred because the static buildup in the vast tail of Comet Ison, with debris passing each other as the tail spirals due to the approach towards celestial bodies. Jupiter, for example, has a vast monotail that reaches the Sun, and we see how its moon Io just happened to be in the precise position to lie between Jupiter and Ison. And when the static discharge leapt towards Jupiter, the moon erupted in a gigantic volcano never before witnessed by man. Jupiter is 88,800 miles wide, the Jesus number. So it is significant that Nostradamus was correct in his painting. The eighth spoke wheel ticking down from when? We have August 23rd, 2013 when Io erupted. Then October the 1st, Mars lights up. Like a comet, a huge eruption as its magma was disturbed gravitationally and more likely it also flipped upside down. So at that time the comet continued towards the Sun, then 1837 UTC, this is the 28th of November 2013, it reached perihelion rounding the Sun in a close encounter recorded on the internet of 8,888,008 kilometers. Again, the Jesus number. I know a second before and after the distance was actually 8,888,888.888 kilometers, the infinity number for God and eternity. So now we have the date of January 11th, 2014, the same date that Pope Benedict the 16th said in his apostolic letter as being the most sacred of days when Jesus was reborn as Brian Leonard Go Lightly Marshall on January 11th, 1944. So this date in 2014, Pope Benedict, is he was 31,680 days old. I was 70 years old, ending the seven-year prophecy. The Gematria for my name, Brian, 44, Leonard, 69, Go Lightly, 115, and Marshall, 84, all adds up to 312. This is a direct reference to the Revelation 3.12, which is the returned Lord will have a new name. 
And the value of the verse, that is Revelation 3.12, in Gematria is 25.20. 25.20 in days is seven years. Therefore, multiplied by 10, it is 70 years. It tells you that he has a new name and aligns with seven and 70 years. Quoting the verse, Revelation 3.12, Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. Him that overcometh. Cometh is why or overcome what? Mankind who rejects me. Will I make a pillar in the temple of my God? That is the great pyramid. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God. It's Jesus speaking. will write his, God's name. That is mine. And the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. That's the new solar system with seven planets and a dwarf sun. And I will write upon him my new name. Now Jesus is saying my new name. The same he said was his God. Why? The Father and I are one. Then as I, as Jesus, said, was speaking the words of myself, Yahweh, if you have seen the Father, you have seen me. This means the Father came as the baby's soul of the Immaculate Conception, verified by Muhammad when he wrote to the nations on his border, saying Jesus was the soul of Allah via the Virgin. Now the 5th of August 2014 is in the Hebrew calendar the 9th of Av. And it will be the 1944th anniversary of the destruction of the temple for the second time on the same date in 70 AD. The first time was the 9th of Av, 586 BC, with the destruction of Solomon's temple. Are you seeing the synchronicity of the numbers? I was reborn January the 11th, 1944. I just turned 70 and it will be the 1944th anniversary of the destruction of the Temple of Yahweh in 70 AD on August the 5th, 2014. The third day is now the beginning of the 1,000 years of Christ. So these coincidences, are they not obvious and are they not intentional? My part is to reveal how I am connected to a higher power that waits for my blood. The soul within connects to the Ron Wyatt discovery of the Ark of the Covenant under the cross in Jerusalem in Jeremiah's Grotto on January the 6th, 1982, on that date the Christ just happened to be 1982 weeks old. So the world is totally bullshitted by not only stupid religions, but is controlled by the Zionists who simply filled in a vacancy left open by the kings, and in particular the Church of Rome. Indeed, ruthless businessmen have managed to create wars continually and out of some national psychological disorder get parents to send their children to die. The biggest lie is Hitler, the make-believe Holocaust. In fact, I have friends that were the first into the camps. They found thousands of thin, starving people and an epidemic of typhus, a deadly disease spread by lice. I asked how many died in gas chambers and they told me there were no gas chambers. It is all a repatriation lie. It should be reparation. Reparations racket. General Patton was known for his speed in organising the battles with German troops. He said concerning his victory, we are fighting the wrong enemy. After seeing the savages of Russian rapes and executions, 
of the general German population. Within days he was summons and on the way his car was strafed by a fighter. His car ran off the road and he suffered a broken neck. He died 10 days later in hospital. No doubt he would have recovered, but he had to die and was murdered in hospital. Had Hitler won the war, the world would be in paradise today. And I think we can all agree it certainly is not. Mein Kampf was one of the biggest selling books in Europe and today it has been translated into many languages. It has been selling like hotcakes because finally people are waking up. His book was the reason he was able to finance the National Socialist Party. The National Socialist symbol is not his idea, it is Hindu and he first saw it in a small village church he attended as a Catholic boy. Now the National Socialists have been slammed as a dreadful political system, but by whom? The Zionist Ashkenazi, they are the real Nazis, because they realise that if Hitler won the war, his system would eliminate the greed and plunder bankers, and the average man and woman would be entering paradise as promised by Jesus, which Hitler was emulating. So what have you today? You've got cancer, diabetes, two, malaria, which we've been curing for 10 years. The air is polluted with chemtrails. We've seen reports here in Australia, the amounts of poisons in the samples. The water for decades have been, has been laced with fluoride, chloride, and bromide. The food, the bread, bakers mix is soy and bromide, both cause humility and infertility and death. In fact, one could be forgiven if we suspected foul play. Do you think Hitler would have allowed it? No, he was for the betterment of the people, a Jesus soul aware of the problem, the bankers, Judaism and communism. As for the Jewish Antichrist, he had tried to have the democracies take them, but no, he planned to land them on Madagascar after the war. The camps were not death camps. I personally have spoken to many Jews, the death camps are a myth. From their own mouths, many spent the entire war in the camps. It begs the questions. If these death camps were intended to exterminate the Jews, how come thousands were interred for the duration of the war? Personally, I have nothing against the Jews. I have a problem with the Talmud and what the minority do, such as child sacrifice of Christian babies. The Zionists are the worst offenders. Are the Jews the problem? No, it's all to do with big money. That is the crux of the matter. Jews have been taught to blame Jesus Christ. Indeed, Christians have persecuted them for concocted reasons. The problem is the meek have no idea what their elite get up to, nor read the demands of the Talmud. They would convert in droves if they were aware Jesus was the Messiah and have been tricked by their leaders to hate Jesus. What will the Catholics of the world do when they realise their Jesus is back and have been prohibited from ever finding out? What will they think after Francis is dead, cast into the bottomless pit by my word, and Pope Benedict XVI finally allowed to speak? What will they think concerning Benedict's priests being murdered? Now the president of North Korea sent a psychologist to study the West. His report was straight to the point. The West is totally dominated by Zionists. Their religion support a god of death in the Old Testament. He accused Hitler of murdering, murdering 25 million Russians. He, being a communist, was accurate when it came to the brainwashing and satanic religions. He did not mention Hitler was fighting Jews which dominated Western nations, nor that Stalin, who was a Jew, murdered 60 million Russians and Jesus was not mentioned. So Ron Wyatt discovered the blood of Jesus on the Ark of the Covenant. He had it tested in Israel, revealed one Y chromosome male from the father and 23 female from the mother Mary. Today my blood tested by the Garvin Institute in Sydney revealed three unusual chromosomes being number 3, 4 and 13. 3413, this number is Michael. 
the archangel in the Greek concordance. Revelation 12, 7, And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. The Y chromosome is represented by M44 within the Crab Nebula. The two blood types must be spiritually joined to complete the trinity in the one soul, being Y God plus Y Jesus plus the three, four, one, that should be three, becomes Y25, that's the value of the Y, plus 25 again, plus three, plus four, plus 13, all adds up to 70. The date that Ron Wyatt discovered the Ark of the Covenant, January the 6th, 1982, it was actually 2 p.m. in the afternoon, until Sunday, July 27th, 2014, 11890 days or 1698 weeks. 1698, the 1 is Alpha plus 698 is Martel, found once in the New Testament. Greek, or I am, found in 698 verses. So finally, why is it that there is not one politician, nor one preacher, not one officer in the Navy or Armed Forces speaking out what it is that's in our food, water or skies, or in the vaccines they force everybody to have within the military. When a child could discover the truth in 15 minutes on the web.